Hello, Lunar Child, and welcome now to Thursday. Thanks for logging in, Cancer. Sunny and pretty social today. The sun is ruled by Neptune, and the moon is in the house of friends and society. Let's start, though, with that sun. With the sun ruled by Neptune, it's a day of intuition. It's the synergy energy. It's connecting to the universe, right? This is a great day to ask questions. Yesterday, we said, let's put out our intentions when it comes to career and what we want. Today, with Neptune ruling the day, ask your guides, okay, what should I do first? What is the first step? You can also ask your guides about anything else under the sun, by the way. That's why they call them guides. So you can ask them about a guy. You can ask them about a creative project. You can ask them about anything. Should I get my uh, hair cut short? <laughs> Take advantage of that. Neptune, this is the last Neptune day in the cycle of Aries. Zipping to your home planet, the moon. The moon has shifted into stable Taurus, where it'll be for the next couple of days, putting emotional focus on your social life and your social reputation. So how people perceive you, your relationship to society. This is even the title on your business cards, okay? It is your social status. And the day, today is a good day to have a good conversation with your friends because the moon will cross over uh, Mercury first. I'm all tongue-tied today. I feel Mercury retrograde coming. Mercury will cross over, the moon will cross over Mercury today, which is a great day to get very clear on how you feel about something and have an important conversation. So you'll have clarity over your emotions and really a good place to communicate that to a friend or even to society. It's a great day to put your heart into a speech, for instance. It's also a great day to be creative when it comes to your circle of friends or your social life. The moon will be crossing over Venus as well. Now, when the moon crosses Venus, it's a nice, healing, loving energy. It really inspires us. It's optimistic. It feels really good. It feels really soothing. So if you've been going through any kind of trouble emotionally, I can tell you you got some candy coming when the moon crosses over Venus. And it's Thursday. We have a new episode of Siddiqui Salter's Renegade Emerald Therapist going live today. This is our fourth and final chapter in the Aries Vibration. This is our question and answer episode. Now, if you posted a question, Siddiqui might have answered it. It's all in the plant kingdom how plant essences and their vibration can help us grow and raise our vibration. So don't miss Sadika. She's everywhere, so garden streams. Okay, Cancer, that's all I have for the day, but I'm back tomorrow with your full weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So long.